Hey guys, how are you? Crafting with Sam. Today is Monday, June 20th. I did all of this last night. All in here. So now I'm working on finishing that section right there. And then all I have left to do is a smoothie. Which won't take long because it's color blocking, which I love. Love, love, love. If I can finish off the eye and work on it some more today, then I'll be really making headway on this painting. Because after when I'm done this one, I'm going to be going back to my Mickey Mouse one. If you guys remember, I was working on... Here, I'll show you. Oh, right here. Ugh. I was working on this Mickey Mouse Diamond Dots one. And then I'm going to do a couple of those wind, uh, not wind chimes, but a couple of the, um, really, the ones that I got yesterday, the hanging pieces, I call them, the ones with the crystals. Oh, sun catchers. Yeah, sun catchers. Duh. I was trying to figure out the name for them, but couldn't think of it for the life of me. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. That's my plan, anyways. Or I may do the clock first. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I'm torn. I'm either going to do the clock or one of the sun catchers after I finish Mickey Mouse. So, I kind of have a plan. <laughs> Last night, I started watching Game of Thrones because I am getting so excited for the new season that is coming out. And they just announced that Jon Snow is coming back. Yay. He was one of my favorite characters out of the whole series. Because everyone felt bad for Jon Snow, right? I mean, who can not feel bad for him? He was treated like garbage um, by um, Lord Stark's wife. And he was... Just not very appreciated, and he was a badass with the White Walkers, and I, he's just one of my favorite characters next to Khaleesi, um, which is the Mother of Dragons. Those are my two top favorite characters out of the whole Game of Thrones. I've read the first two books of Game of Thrones, and I never got back to reading the rest, because they're, they're, they have a lot of information, and the books are really good. Um, I, I, however, did not, um, whatchamacallit, I did not, I get the smaller packs of the books. I, well, I did at first, but then they were too hard, hard on my eyes to read, so I got the bigger, uh, the bigger fat packs of Game of Thrones. I did the same thing with Outlander, and I never even finished reading Outlander either, because there's so much to go in. I know the books are supposed to be, like, really good. Um, I'm only, like, halfway on book one still. I don't read as much as I used to. I kind of got out of it for some reason. I don't know why because I used to love reading. Because like even when I was relaxing in the bath and whatnot, I would read. I don't even do that anymore. I just listen to my music and just, you know, on my way, you know. Sometimes I read on my phone. I, I, like, I, I like reading the 
Kindle books from um, Amazon. I've been reading the Harry Potter. I've read them before. Um, but I just, I'm rereading those, so... making sure that there's no more okay so yeah that's what I've been reading lately um I don't I, I don't read it all the time but if I'm out somewhere or if I'm at the campground I'll read it um but that's pretty much about it <laughs> My mom reads the Amazon Kindle a lot more than I do. She she loves reading. I do, however, want to read that new uh, Snakes and Songbird by Susan Collins. Because the movie's coming out. I'm like, I have to read the book before I see the movie. I'm so used to doing that now. Before, I would never do it. Um, it's like, I haven't even read it yet, so I really want to. Because I've read all three Hunger Games books. I've even read uh, another book that I like reading was The Maze Runner. I read that quite a few times. Um, another series that I didn't really finish yet... Um, it's called The Unwanted. It's kind of like a Hunger Games Harry Potter mashup. Um, those are really good books. Um, I know there's new ones out. I just, like I said, I haven't been in my reading mode to get them. So, I'm like, why would I waste my money on that if I'm not going to end up reading it? I wish I had the time to read as much as I do before, but it, it's just, you know. I did not mean to do that. Another good book series to get into is uh, Little House on the Prairie. I've read all those. I've read all those. Um, I used to like reading the Magic Tree House books. I, I used to have them and then I got rid of them. I should have kept those, though. Because they're a part of my childhood, too. Um, okay. Equals sign. 3855. 3855. Right here, duh. I need another bag. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll start reading again. Maybe I'll, I'll have the um, energy to finish the book I was re reading on my Kindle, which was the Harry, 
the Harry Potter, you know. Why is there a piece of hair on my wax? Sorry. So yeah, maybe I'll do that. These baggies are the best. I get them from my Dollarama. And they hold really nicely, too. And I like to put them in my little drawers that I have. And there's 75 of them, too. And as I finish, like, a color, I like to put them in the bag when I'm done with it. And I double check to make sure there's no more of that number. I've never tried doing the binder system. I know um, a lot of people like putting their leftover beads in a binder. Because they, um, you know, like how people collect cards and stuff and they store them in binders so they don't get damaged. I was a person that did that. Um when I used to collect cards and stuff, especially, like, the magic cards, when I, like, I, I played magic a little bit, but not a lot, um, just the cards that I liked, I put them in bar binders, um, but, yeah, I never tried, I never tried doing it that way, I just, like, putting them in baggies, uh, fudge monkey. Black popped up. That's all right. I can fix it. It's fixable. <laughs> Just kidding. I love Marilyn. Um, Marilyn's designs from Diamond Art Club. I am not even gonna try and say her last name because I know I always say last names wrong. Um, but yeah, I love her artwork. I have quite a few of them. I did a uh, bubblegum spaniel. I've done, um, I've done uh, um, Chocolate Labrador. That was a partial and it was round. If you guys remember a while back ago when I did it. I think it was last year though. Or earlier this year. I don't know. I can't remember. And then I did get a couple of her other ones, like the Yorkie and Flower and Yorkie and Roses, I think, I got. And then I have some in my friend's house, too, so I know I have quite a few of her artwork. They're so cute. How can you not get them? And this one's not even back in stock yet, either. Um... Because it sold out really quickly. I'm glad I got it when I did.
But yeah, she's one of my favorite artists on on um Diamond Art Club. <laughs> I want to get that Polar Express one by Manny Manzano. Oh, next time when I place an order with my passport program, I'm having her get me that one. I really want it. It is so pretty. I I love the design. And I may get that Professor Snape one. I don't know yet. Because he's one of my favorite professors on Harry Potter. Okay, that number's done. Booyah, booyah, booyah. I'm on a roll. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for commenting too. I try to answer most of my comments. So, um, well, thank you so much for watching too. It means so much to me. Um,. Six oh five is what? Hey, okay, I have none of that number. Three three fifty. Yeah. So I'm not going to make this a super long video, but I did just want to come on here today and show you how much I've actually gotten done on my painting. And I'm supposed to be getting, I hope I get it today, but I doubt it. I'll probably most likely get my Diamond Art Club on Wednesday, which I'm excited for. I can't wait to show you guys what I've gotten. Because without, like, this program I'm on, you guys, no normally I would just be buying them from a, um, like, a, like the D-Stash groups, you know? Because normally I can't afford these. I get a lot, I get a lot of mine from, like, Amazon or that uh, DIY Digital Art. Um, but I'm not going to be ordering from DYI Digital Art because I noticed that they've gone up a little bit. Um, so I'm sticking with DYI Choose because they have the same paintings there anyways. And DYI Choose is actually a lot cheaper for me, believe it or not. It's the cheapest out of every one of them. Like even everyday deals. That's why I haven't been ordering from everyday deals because... Their shipping cost way too much. It's like with ten paintings, it's like a hundred dollars. Oh my like, yeah, no. When I, I'm hoping I get my order soon, and I'll show you it because I got all those paintings for like thirty bucks Canadian, and it's a lot more worth it. Trust me. <laughs> So, I like DIY Choose now. DIY Choose is one of my most new favorite places to order from. I've ordered from there before once, so this is my second time ordering uh, from them. And I know they're really good because I liked the canvases and everything that I had gotten um, last time. So... 
Ya. I was talking to um I be Negan and Rosita on Instagram and why not they finally got their paintings. I'm so happy. Oh, they love them. I wish I could have met them this year, but this year with everything going on, it's just not in the funding. I'm hoping maybe next year I can just go. I really do want to meet them. Um but they love them. I'm glad. I still have to reorder a new Beetlejuice because I promised him a painting. And I haven't done that yet. So, uh, yeah. You know, it, it's just one of those things, right? Um, it, it happens. I'm still not impressed with her. I'll never order from her ever, ever again. So, lesson learned. <laughs> Definitely on that note, for sure. But on that note, you guys, that is all I have for you today. I hope you guys will like this video. And thank you all to my new subscribers. I've been noticing I've been getting a lot of them lately. So thank you so much for that. And keep on staying safe. It's still... It's still... Um... Not dangerous out there, but you know what I mean. Like, even just from COVID, you know, COVID is still around. Um, but, yeah, just continue staying safe and keep on diamond painting. And I'll be back with more, hopefully, tomorrow or Wednesday. I don't know if I'm going to do a video tomorrow or not. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Alrighty, but that is it for now. Thank you guys so much. Bye.